So hi, hello, welcome to Mindbox Training's podcast. So today we are going to discuss about two important topics. The first topic is all about the soft skills, which is more important than the technical skills right now in the market. And the second, we are also going to discuss about what are the mistakes that IT professionals are doing when they are moving into DevOps. And also we are going to discuss about how to resolve those things. And here we are with Mr. Amul Shetty, who is one of our trainer. Is working from last three years with us and we have got a lot of good feedbacks and reviews from the market and from the student side so here he is with us to discuss about these questions that what we are going to shoot him hello brother so yeah hi hi santosh uh yeah hi, uh brother. thanks for inviting me here in the podcast it's our pleasure uh, brother, please yeah so uh let me introduce myself a little bit uh for uh students or whoever wants to understand more about me they may get a little bit uh, so my name is Amul Chete and uh, currently I'm working with the LTM Entry. I have almost uh, 7 plus years of experience in this uh, total uh, IT industry and uh, uh, you know teaching is kind of my passion. So I love to uh, share my knowledge, uh, the experiences with the students. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit about me and currently I'm working as a senior uh, DevOps engineer uh, yeah. and yeah. in current roles as well as already I uh, you know just work with uh, the uh, the all the almost all the devs uh, technology that I have worked on and yeah I would like to uh, share the experience with you great great super brother thanks for that intro and uh, we have already have been uh, kept some questions for you to discuss because I think these are the questions that coming from the students said whenever they're calling us and inquiring us they have mm-hmm. a lot of questions in their minds so we really want to discuss these questions the first question that I want to shoot is what qualities beyond the technical knowledge are crucial for DevOps candidates? So this is the first question. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think uh, now if we are just talking about the qualities, so one of the very important uh, quality is the communication. I believe so. Uh, yeah. So communication is something uh, that uh, would be very necessary to uh, deliver uh, what exactly your problem is. Uh, how you are making the collaboration with the developers or or the rest of the teams. So communication is something uh, that uh, one has to be uh, with. And uh, it it can be something, uh, it's it's not something like in one day you can achieve that. So it takes some time for to build a communication. So I would, you know, just recommend to uh, get started with if you're not something very good uh, speaker. And yes, uh, something that, of course, English is something that everybody should be knowing. Exactly. So communication is one thing. Second thing I would say that uh, the attitude now when it comes to DevOps, it's not something just a one tool that, uh, you know, if this is done, then uh, we're good with to go with. Uh, uh, so we have to be always uh, uh, with a good learning attitude. Exactly. Now, uh, no matter what at stage you are, like how much experience you have, uh, you have to keep you, uh, you have to be updated with all the uh, trending technology, what's going on. Uh, and yeah, pretty much that if you just uh, be aware of how the things are going in the current market, uh, you can uh, be a good uh, sellable product uh, as yourself in the industry. True, true. And also I want to ask you one question. When you are giving an interviews for DevOps engineer or DevOps side, so like if they ask you like question like uh, introduce yourself. So at that time, what did you have done? Like, so because that is the main question. See, because as a self, Introduction is most important thing from self mm-hmm. So like, uh, did you have any preparation for that to do that? Because in many interviews, that is the crucial part. So did yes. you got any preparation for that? Yeah, yeah sure. So I'll uh, just give you a few tips here. So sure. maybe one thing uh, uh, that we have to keep like, like, first of all, here, the introduction is something uh, uh, that is, it's like a, you know, the first impression uh, that you keep on, on the interview, right? So. I believe that interview, uh, like the introduction is the one thing uh, that each and everyone has to be very crisp with. And then, you know, the fluency and and all those stuff, you can be prepared with it, right? So it's just all yours detail. So you have to be very uh, fluent with that. That, That's what I believe. Uh, And as as per the experience, the the introduction will differ. Like, let's say if I'm someone who is a fresher. Now, I don't have many things to speak. Okay, as from the technology perspective, maybe. So, or from the project perspective. So what I might say is that as a fresher, I might just, you know, I'll tell my name, uh, where, where I do stay and uh, 
uh from where i have completed the degree and what all the yeah. things i know so basic stuff true, so true. i can also speak a little bit about myself as a where i do uh, you know stay and and all those yeah. things yeah when it comes to uh, somebody who is having let's say five years of experience or even more than that then uh, they might just take uh, their name and they can directly jump on their experience part like where they are working okay. currently and what all the tools and technology they are working on they can describe their projects as well so okay. this will help them to uh, directly land up on uh, the technical part and most probably if somebody is not having their questions prepared let's say somebody like most of the senior people they don't come uh, with like question said that these are the questions i'm going to ask okay most of the time exactly. what happens is that they directly ask the question what you have answered so you can yes. create a landscape that this is what i know and from that you can take the next next question and and that's how the next questions would be coming to you so oh, yeah i believe like describing your projects uh, then okay. technical uh, tools that what you have used and and your little bit past experience can help you for especially for experienced people uh, okay. in 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 introduction they can mention yeah okay okay so can i also uh, ask you one question like how this works for the freshers so for freshers of course like uh, the cv is there in front of the interview now okay. Okay. Uh, they need to be uh, sounding little technical and one thing they have to make sure that they have to give the confidence that they will be able to make it because there are, okay. there is a lot of competition is going on and in each exactly. every field that we have like we have we are observing that it is not just for devops or it is beyond that so in each yeah. field they have a competition and if somebody let's say i am hi- hiring someone so i should have that uh, uh, the courage to hire someone if i get a confidence that he or she should be able to do the work without okay. any support or she sh- or he should have that mindset that they can learn and they can uh, be able to uh, do the task by themselves now we exactly. have to provide like as a fresher they have to give the uh, confidence that Uh, somebody sure. will be able to do the task sure. efficiently now that's exactly. what the confidence showcase uh, one has to show okay okay so uh, anyhow the topic came regarding the freshers i have one more question to ask mm-hmm. you see if a fresher is preparing a resume okay so he was not experienced person and he never worked with any of the projects and what he need to do if he want to put some kind of technical skills in his resume uh as soon as he came after the college so what he need to do so can you give the tips regarding the freshers on this uh yeah sure so uh now let's say fresher has to showcase something from their end now yeah. the one of the best thing uh, everybody is having uh, the most uh, uh the advancing the internet right now everyone can mm-hmm. just access the internet yes, now, yes, you, so. now now you can just go on internet and you can search something like a real time projects and one thing they can make sure that to finish or to do the projects by from their themselves i mean uh, one can just search on google and they will get like uh, indefin- infinite mm-hmm. projects on internet but when yes. when we start doing the stuff so okay. we'll come to know okay like this is the one way of doing it now okay. can we just make it with the best uh, possibilities best efforts with the best practices yes. so one has to first of all start doing the uh, real time things uh like how the things are working and then uh it's not all the time you have to spend a money okay like okay, even yeah. even okay. let's say yes. if we have to uh start doing and working on any of the projects so we get yes. uh, enough resources on available on uh, uh internet which can help to you know with with some of the application like you know you can uh, do a free trial and and some mm-hmm. of the the free trials we have mostly for most of the softwares and we can leverage that factor for our real time uh, adding sure. the experience okay now sure. anyone can do this uh, now the biggest mistake uh, that students do is like they learn technology yes. but they never go with the real hands on things so exactly the implementation part never be done by fresher that is most important thing like because Correct. i used to talk with the freshers they always say that so i want to join the program and i want to get into the program but i but i ask them like what is the basic question of what is devops and what all the tools are there in devops but nobody answers that then i'll tell them that okay please make sure to go with the youtube first so whenever you go with the youtube google and you have a lot of free resources once you get with that and you got a, a basic understanding of what is what at least the definition part of it 
and what is the technology it is and how that it is going on then you can come back to an institution not only our institution any institution in the market you okay. can just go and you can talk to them if without having any basic understanding we can't even talk about the technology that what you are learning so it's not so Absolutely. my suggestion is like any fresher it is in the current market has to first approach for youtube understand the basics then go for any institution then it will be uh, good for them like like any coordinator who is guiding them or giving information regarding the program then these guys also will understand okay what is this tool about is and what topics they are going to cover and how advanced they are going to come or what we are going to learn what is the road map of this so all exactly. these things they will understand only once they know the basic of it but most pressures won't do this that is the uh, bad part of our market that is the thing but anyhow that let's uh, get into the second question how mm-hmm. can collaboration and problem solving and adaptability impact the success in devops uh now whatever the term you have used the collaboration uh, adaptability yes. you now yes. these are really really uh, necessary uh, for any of the product uh, okay. to be delivered deliver, deliver uh, on time and uh, uh, with the best quality so uh, like in in a world of devops or uh, let's say in, in a team uh, when we are working together Uh, yeah. the problem solving uh, then collaboration is basically like uh, how the what the best practice with the what best practices we can approach uh, for anything that uh, the problem or the feature what we are trying to implement yeah so i think uh, the collaboration is uh, uh, is necessary and uh, uh, it is basically to have a daily communication uh, and now yes. for that we have something like called as agile uh, methodology that uh, yes. that comes into the picture now that can uh, give us a very good advantages uh, how we can look at one of the problem how we can uh, put it into the small small uh, steps how we can achieve that into the small small steps so uh, in sure. a sprints form uh, and then doing the collaboration is like having the perfect communication all together within team uh, can uh, the impact uh uh impact the project in a good way perfect perfect great mm-hmm. and also we are going to have a one more question regarding like like what challenges do it professionals often face when they are trying to transact their career into devops side yeah so uh one thing that uh, that that i i get this question uh yeah a lot of times from the students especially yeah, yeah. the one who is having a good experience like experience. let's say five so, five years plus experience they when they have it yes so uh, now what happened at initial stage they have worked they have worked on something the technologies like let's say networking or yeah. let's say uh, the testing or mm-hmm. any application support kind of a roles they have done and yeah. in later stage now they're saying that the the field in which they are working right now they are mm. they're facing a saturation there in terms of uh, growth uh, career growth or you say salary hikes so they would like to move to the devops and now in such situation what challenges could occur now that's a just obvious question so one thing is that when you are showcasing yourself with something let's say 6 to 7 years or whatever the number is yes. now are we really having that much of experience in devops okay let's say i i just take one person who is having the 6 to 7 years of experience totally into the devops and the one other person who is having the experience uh, let's say for first four uh, years he has implemented something into the other roles let's say testing and the two years he is just having the into the devops so are these two guys are same or whether they will would be able to handle the same responsibility of course not right like Definitely. the one who has yes. done more work they of course will always be uh, knowing the best practices so yes. that's what the clear difference is now how you can become or how we can just uh, uh, come up with the thin line of that experience is uh, by just doing something real hands on stuff now let's say somebody i hire a person Uh, and uh, as a devops engineer and then let's say he is just having the 3 3 years he worked under my uh, organization just as for a moment so mm-hmm. will he be totally working on a devops things for 3 years the answer is not like let's say yes. for, for first 6 months he gonna be under some training uh, he will be learning right and yes. then he will start understanding the stuff so it's uh, it's it's always having opportunity to everyone but it's just about learning matters 
that how okay. good you are grasping the things and at till what level you are ready to go i mean in terms yes. of best practices okay now one solution can be implemented in easy way also like let's say i have to deploy one project i'll go and straight away deploy it but what are the other ways i have it if i start looking okay now that particular thing can add up into the experience and that that is actually you know we called as a experience uh, guy yeah, okay and okay. what I, just so one uh, thing i would like to add one more thing that definitely uh, the devops is something about like after deployment what will happen okay. now let's say somebody is having a knowledge okay. about everything but they did not able to tackle a solution when things are going wrong especially when okay. things are down completely down and they just we just want to make the system up as soon as possible okay. now in such scenario the experienced candidate would uh, do definitely a better and that's what a uh, matters a lot now people are always uh, you know get ready to learn the things but they don't understand how to uh, do when something goes wrong like what to do in when when something goes wrong so that is also something you know one one should take care of true 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 and also regarding this coming to the experienced persons so they will have a little fear like uh, you know the fear in perspective like uh, uh, do i get the same salary if i move for the other organization or same package that i get for the other organization or not and the se- second uh, i am from the some ex technology can i move with the devops technology is it the right way to go or not because i have already have a 8 years 9 years of experience in some other technology is it a good way to transit or not so this kind of questions usually come uh, whenever we are handling with the students with a higher experience so they are used to ask this questions for us so i always update the same thing for them so the only thing is that whenever you are learning something in a technical perspective point as you have mentioned one line here that one issue you don't need to you need to handle with a number of things it's not just a one way of handling the issue you need to handle the issue in a number of ways and that point is very much important point for the students okay. i think because uh, that's a good point brother really good point because that is where people see in trainings also in now in industry what happening in many of the institutions is they are just uh, giving on a concept for example there is one topic and they have discussed about that topic and the topic has been got completed and the student what he is doing is like he just understanding the same example at what they have been discussed the tutor who are is discuss about the example of that he'll go home and he'll just practice it and he'll try to get understand that okay same mistake comes i need to go with the same solution but they mm-hmm. are not able to understand that see this is an example that's it but this is not the same thing that is going to repeated in the real time so Correct. the thing is you should understand in your mind that whatever the situation it is whatever the thing is you have to think over the problem in a very different ways to how to fix it and how to solve it this is what i always tell to the students whenever because there are some freshers and even they are frankly speaking bro the four to five years of experience people in the market even they they are also are not aware of what how exactly it works truly Correct. speaking but i am not a uh, Uh, giving a statement like this in a wrong way but they are people they are really an it professionals who have five years experience also doesn't have any sort of knowledge on the technical perspective point Correct. maybe it because of their way how they went but it's a uh, uh, different secondary we'll discuss later in uh, some other episodes on this topic so let's get into the other question can you give an example of where traditional it practices clashes with devops approaches yeah uh okay so uh, i don't believe actually uh, the the clashing with each other actually they goes into hand to hand uh okay. now it is just that uh, like let's say uh, 10 years uh, uh, before that we had some different approach uh, to uh, let's say software delivery now that approach has got evolved uh, yes. but are we are we are we changed like everything about it no like let's say uh, that that platform what we used to uh, uh, like use like 20 years before the same platform let's say linux or anything the server or whatever we are using so exactly. that's exactly same it is just how we are uh, using it okay now uh, it could be in other way let's say uh, now the things we started doing on the cloud earlier we mm-hmm. we used to do things on the on premises on premises uh, yes. so the approach has changed but it is mm-hmm. actually the evolution it's not a clashing 
uh, and uh, you know further let's say even after a 10 years what a new approach we will have not sure right so but the fundamentals yes. are yes. going to be always uh, the same uh, sure. or the basics are not going to be completely changed so that's the reason the, if you yeah. are uh, good with the fundamentals maybe uh, you can catch up at at any uh, pace the things are moving perfect and i want to add uh, one point here brother like mm-hmm. uh, they are uh, like for example in current uh, in our education sector uh, everybody is learning btech like engineering Correct. is the most common thing that uh, most yes, of uh, the interviews got completed <laughs> so uh, like in india it is more common thing for everyone so what are happening is there are four or five departments like civil mech and computer science and electronics and some other things are there so the computer science students it's okay they already have some uh, coding background because it's a part of the subjects and all these things but mech mm-hmm. tech and these electronic guys uh, these guys also coming into it only nowadays Correct. and these guys uh, so because i got few students from this uh, department and uh, they used to ask me sir i don't know about coding so i don't know about anything at all it side so i was feared about what to do like uh, all these things questions they ask so my suggestion for them is if you are already aware of market and you are aware, already aware of yourself that end of this btech i'm going to complete this uh, and need to go for a job for it only then better start learning programs from the third year onwards just it's Correct. i'm not asking you to learn uh, a big big programs i'm asking you to learn at least from a uh, free resources uh, regarding the coding c language basic c language code java because lot of students brother this uh, days they are not having any coding skills brother even frankly from to csc background students also i can tell you 70% to 60% of students of csc students in today market are not able to write a single line coding also correct there are only 30% of people are writing the coding and even if the student come and ask which which department you are in computer science then how can you doesn't know about the c language hmm. the basic java language then i used to there is no answer from them so yeah. my suggestion for anyone who is learning btechs now better start learning from your third year regarding any technology it is and get upgraded and uh, that is one other suggestion and the other question for you brother how can a candidate develop the necessary mindset and avoid common pitfalls uh pardon can you just uh, come yeah, on can i repeat the question for you yes, yeah. yes please sorry how can a candidates develop the necessary mindset and avoid the common pitfalls and i mean the difficulties okay so uh, one thing uh, we as i already also mentioned uh, the attitude matters a lot okay now a yeah. uh, lot of people go into the uh, uh, the way uh, like let's say i'm i'm just started with working something uh, now whatever the things comes to me i'll learn that i'll work perfectly as per the expectation of my boss i will fulfill whatever the goals that my company is expecting from me uh, yes. but that's not uh necessary uh, or yes. I, or I, I i shouldn't say necessary but yeah that is necessary but from just a company's perspective yes now if yes. we have to grow then we have to see beyond that right. we need to uh, you know learn and learn, and then learning is something that i always uh, tell to everyone and in fact every day me as as myself is learning a lot of things okay every single yeah. day i'm learning exactly. something new exactly yes maybe brother. it is a very small thing True. but it's is learning is a very important thing and your attitude has to be aligned towards the learning okay like people feel that i i i gain let's say 10 years of experience i i am not going to learn anything okay now yes. that something is uh, that could be uh, your very really really harmful thing harmful thing so you have to be uh, always uh, keep your attitude good towards the learning and the rest of things will comes automatically uh, now what is going on and everything that that you know if we just keep uh, uh, you know the as as a, if we have virtual to have that uh, sort of a uh, things in your mobile let's say we are using the mobile every day now yes uh, you have subscribed to those channels who is putting some knowledge 
in you yes yes uh so that that all things you know matters and and that's how everything comes so yeah yes, yes. that that's true brother like because you know like uh, uh, the first thing in today uh, market i am observing is attitude brother so okay. it, it, you, you should have a, a natural attitude is fine but the over attitude and uh, that, that that level of attitude will also will have a differentiations so that shouldn't be there but the equal uh, the natural attitude whoever it is should be very good with any organization or with any person individually or with their family also i think yeah. this is a very uh, very perfect uh, thing and uh, second uh, i also want to add one more point brother for example yes uh, when you get started as a fresher for example uh, you are out from the college and uh, uh, did you done any sort of uh, internships or did you done any kind yeah. of like uh, any other projects uh, which are helpful for you to understand uh, how the real time the technical uh how that organization workflow will work out all these things how did you understand before moving for as a fresher job yeah okay so uh like when when i was in uh, uh let's say f- i was in fourth year so till that time okay. i actually did the three internships in my during my college days Super. and it was like a sort of a competition that we had actually in our uh, class mm-hmm. uh that people were doing the uh, internships from the uh different different places okay like if i okay. name few uh i i belongs to mumbai so i okay. did the one of the internship at the doordarshan oh, uh, then one cool. i did it at the railway central railway and okay. third one i did it at the uh, hindustan petroleum okay the oh, hpc all, all government projects okay <laughs> yeah actually now <laughs> yeah. how that got impacted me so uh, when i took my resume and when okay. i showed it to the uh, the first organization where i interviewed that was a uh, reliance jio and okay. when i showed my cv there so uh, they got yeah. impressed right you know like he has done the three yeah. internships and he has uh, he must have done something extra work now yeah. i know the reality okay true. like true. let's true. say i'm not someone uh, got a lot of knowledge from the uh, all of the three which i named uh, let's say i a uh, no you know any this could be a good tip uh, if if the students are listening to uh, this podcast so super adurdashan uh, or something central railway okay these are okay. Uh, these are just uh, you know anyone can do it i mean every oh. single uh, uh, year they just uh, keep some opening they just announce okay. it and you can go there and you can start doing the internship it's completely free of cost super okay super. i believe adurdashan took some okay. uh, little bit fees but that's yeah. really yeah. Uh, uh, you know uh, uh, affordable okay okay but okay. that can actually show some case that you have done something okay yeah, now yeah. whether you really able to uh, do it or not but still you can showcase something from your end okay great okay so and uh, regarding uh, any other questions yeah i think uh, that's all for this episode brother and tomorrow we are going to discuss about uh, other questions like regarding the technical side and the project oriented stuff so okay. we'll definitely wind up for today's episode and we'll go for the yeah. second episode for tomorrow and yeah that's all for today brother and thank you so yeah. much yeah thank you thank you so yeah. much sandesh yeah okay